So I've never taken a tractor out here before. It might prove a little interesting. Good morning. We're going to start working on a remote camping area up in the woods at the off-grid property here. Living on a homestead, there's always plenty of things to do and it's hard to get away. So we want to make a nice little remote camping spot. So we want to get away where it can get away, but we're still on the property to take care of the animals. First, I need to adjust the mower. So the corners where the black brackets are, we're digging in in a lot of areas. What I think ended up happening is, is our nut loosened up and this whole thing shifted like this. So we're not level. So I want to get this adjusted so we are level. And then I will tighten back up that lock nut. And then hopefully we won't be digging in on the corners. All right, we'll grab a load of stone on our way up. We're probably going to need some stone for this project. So I've never taken a tractor out here before. It might prove a little interesting. Now we need to figure out where exactly we want to build this platform. Wow, this is really flat right here. It is. So you want to go in the middle, you want to go over to the side. Over here is nice, but I don't think we want to go in between the trees. No. I think we want to keep that open. Yep. So it's just maybe come over a little bit to the side and keep this area open. If we do it over to one side, if we ever wanted to expand, we'd have area to go over to the side if we wanted True. to build onto it. So I'm thinking if we don't go right up against the tree, but We'll have to move. This is part of the tent. I left the roof structure part of it here. We'll move this over out of our way and then we'll figure out over here. We'll kind of get it laid out quickly and then I gotta go run out and pick up all of the lumber for it. Come this way more. A little more. Keep going. Okay, right. Come there. Yeah. So we have a stake right there, the other front one over there, and then it'll go back this way. We have enough room around this corner to get over here. That front corner we shifted that way so we can get in here with the tractor or anything in the future. The side by side. And then over here, we'll keep this opened up because there's a nice little creek right here. So we can have a sitting area with the creek running by. We gotta go take off and pick up all the building material. They should have the order pulled and ready to pick up. All 
All right, let's hit the road. Well, we made it up here. It took a little bit of finagle. We had to put it into four wheel drive to get it over here, but this N and N tilt trailer is awesome. It did the job so good. This is a heavy load. All of this pressure treated lumber is soaking wet. So there is some weight there and yeah, we hauled it back good. The truck did good. The trailer did good. Now we're just gonna unhook from the truck. We'll leave the trailer here. And then that way we can start hiking it in and get everything in there. We gotta unload the back of the truck. I got a bunch of concrete blocks in there as well. I'm gonna put a jack behind it, just so when I go to take it off the truck, it doesn't do this on me. I think it's loaded pretty evenly, but I brought the jack up just for safe measures. Perfect. Oh. There's definitely some weight there. And we got quite a bit of weight in the back here. We got some concrete blocks and some little piers. They get those all offloaded and we got some weed fabric. You know what? Let's just try to drive in there with the truck without the trailer and I will offload the blocks up at the site. We're gonna find out. I mean, if the tractor can get in there, we should be able to get in there, right? I mean, it's a little bumpy, but it's pretty good. All right, we're gonna lay down some weed fabric to go under our to go under our platform, so that way we don't get this grass growing up, and then we'll get everything leveled off nicely after. Shafiq, how much do we want to go? All right, so I wanna set the first set of blocks in two feet and the end ones in two feet, and then set this middle one and kinda of get a lay of what we need. It's raining. It is. I'm actually surprised it's held off as long as it has.
So we need to get some sand for this project. Those stones aren't gonna work out for spots that we just need to shim up and level off a little bit. So we get some sand and now we can see how far we can get because it is starting to rain. I'd at least like to get this front row set without getting too wet today. All right, let's get some material up there. I wanna get everything figured out and straightened out. All right, we got our first 16 foot two by six up here, but it's gonna take us something else to get them all up here. I fell off a couple of times, but I just need one for now. The trailer won't be able to get up here because we have two really sharp 90 degree corners and then some other corners. Let's go 10. All right, this is just temporarily holding it together. We're gonna to go around after and re-secure everything better. But at first, we need to get everything held in place temporarily. I hope that makes sense. Right on the money, I like it. All right, we just got switching over azalea's pasture got the milk and stand up here the water all the fence put up that'll be for the morning they're over there so it's gonna be a quite a, quite an adventurous attempt to walk them up the road over to here for the first time but they should enjoy it they got some nice thick lush grass they got a bunch of clover and timothy so i think they're gonna really like it. it'll be interesting to see how long this pasture area lasts them this is for our Jersey cow Azalea and her baby Cookie. So it's gonna last at least a day. Not sure, it could last two. See you guys in the morning and show you how it goes. Do you think there's ever been cows walking up this road before? I don't think so. New pastures just ahead there, girl. What do you think? Checking it out. Look at all the grass you got.
just finished breakfast. Now it's time to head up and continue working on our project in the woods. The cows seem to be enjoying themselves. How's the grass? Is it good? You got plenty of it. Well, I smartened up this time and I strapped the old two by sixes on the roof. That'll do. I like it. All right. It was a slow ride in, but we got them all and we didn't lose any. We only brought six in. That'll be enough to keep us going on this part of the project and we just have to keep bringing them in in small batches. Somebody probably makes a roof rack for the side-by-sides. It'd probably be handy to get one of these days. I'll tell you what, these things come in so handy. We live this lifestyle so we can raise our own food because we want to be able to know what goes into our food and a lot of good high quality food you just can't get, it's outlawed, believe it or not. So raw milk in a lot of states is illegal to buy. Our state it isn't, but it's still hard to get. We actually have found a local raw milk producer that produces, sells raw A2, A2 cow's milk. And that's what Azalea is, she's A2, A2. That has to do with the milk. I can't say the word, but it has to do with how you can digest the milk, put it that way. A2A2 makes the milk more digestible. But that being said, we can get raw milk, but it's illegal for that farm to sell us cream or anything else value added to milk. So to have our own milk supply, and be able to get our own cream and make ice cream and butter, we need to have our own cow. And where I'm going with that is, it's gonna be nice to have a little getaway spot here on our own property and still have all of our own food that we can raise and produce. And in the morning we need to go do milking. If we're out here camping, we can run back, do our milking, and then come back here. I'm being lazy and I don't feel like getting out my laser transit. So we're gonna do it this way today. So yes, we do have a lot of projects going on right now in the homestead. And we probably shouldn't be starting another one, but this is a project we want to get done and we want to have it ready anytime to use, but especially by fall and winter. And the other projects we have going on right now, we are on hold either waiting for supplies, equipment, or people. So those are out of our control and we can't work anymore on the other projects we have going on. So we're going to be working on this project while we can Try to get this leveled off the old fashioned way. So on this trail, we have a game camera set up and on this, this morning I saw a fawn, eight and a half. Okay, I saw a fawn coming up the trail. You can just barely see her, otherwise I'd show you just her head was sticking in frame. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then that big old bear that we've been seeing, I don't know if I shared that with you guys yet but there's two big bears on the property that we've been finding and they've been back and forth in the same spots for the last couple of weeks now. So it's gonna be interesting to see what ends up going on with them. Let's see how far out of level that is. It's actually not too bad, to be honest with you. Right there. All right. Let me get this one cut, and then we'll get this one cut.
2211. All right, perfect. We are nice and square here. So that is all squared off. This is not what we're building. This is not going to be the platform. We're going to be building the platform on top of this. I still got to do one more center row, but I want to get the outside rows squared up. And then we got to put two by sixes on the inside of each one. So we'll have two two by sixes, two two by sixes, and two two by sixes. And then we can build our deck on top of that. Wow, I'm not around for a few minutes and this is what happened. So this is where I want the center. All right, let's see what we can do. Can I make a sand castle? Sand castle? Yeah, you can't get much better than that. All right, the only way it would have been any better is if I could have got 12 by 12, four inch thick blocks instead of having to get them two pieces. But the only 12 by 12 blocks they had were like an inch and a half thick and I wanted something more rugged. I never checked this side. I've always checked the other side. Oh, we're a little bit further off then. Okay, but that should be level or close to. That is dead level. I love it. All right, that'll do. Okay, so what are we doing here? So now we need to set this one. We want the edge of it to hit the rope. Okay, I see. So this is gonna be the fun part. So I'm gonna stay over on this edge, get this set up. I'm gonna have you go down there holding the two by six and just basically ballpark the two by six to the top of the four by four. It doesn't gonna be perfect, but then once I get my end set, I'll come give you a hand. So if you wanna come in this way, babe. I have no idea what he's saying. I like that. some 12 foot long two by sixes down at the trailer. All right, I think these should load up on the mule's roof a little bit better because they're four feet shorter. So let me get some up there and we'll see how it goes. All right, I think that will do it. 12 is about max. Let me put a strap on that and then we'll head back up and see how Gene is coming. All right, that should do it. 
see if we can get them up there without losing any. All right, we made it. It only took two attempts. They fell off once and I had to restack them. So all that matters is we got half of them here. All right, let's get layout marked. And that way we know where all of these two by 12s go. This is what we're gonna call this part of the video. Stay tuned for part two as we continue building up. It's gonna be fun. I can't wait to see the platform all done and then we can start building on top of that. So thanks for coming along on our journey, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye. Bye.